What is up guys, this is iUpdateOS, and today I'm going to tell you guys about some of the great new features found in iOS 7 Beta 3. And at this point, I feel it is safe to say that there are more features in iOS 7 Beta 3 than there were in iOS 7 Beta 2. There's a lot of cool stuff that I want to show you guys. Now, as they did do this in iOS 7 Beta 2, they of course increased the snappiness and responsiveness of iOS 7 in their new Beta 3. It's a lot more snappy and you can see just opening up apps is a lot faster than in Beta 1 and of course, Beta 2. Another feature that Apple did change was new fonts in some of their stock apps. There were some new fonts in music, weather, and applications like that. Now, this was very hard to tell for me, but there was a subtle difference. Now, if you do look at the lock screen in the top left and then the top right of your status bar, you will notice that the name of your device or your carrier is larger. You may notice that your battery is bigger as well. Now, I am not sure why Apple made these bigger, but I'm sure they will play a role as we discover more and more features as time goes on. Also, when music is playing on your lock screen, you'll notice that it looks completely different from iOS 7 Beta 2. Now, in iOS 7 Beta 2, Apple did add the feature that lock screen music controls would be showing all of the time. Now, they enhanced that even more in iOS 7 Beta 3 because now you can see your clock and your full status bar and pretty much manage your music completely from your lock screen. And if you do head into your music app, you will notice that the title of the song that's playing is completely shown. I think there was an issue in Beta 2 that made only part of the song title show, but now they've corrected that. If you do head over to the App Store, you are going to notice one thing immediately. If you go under the top chart section, you've got a completely redesigned icon. I think that looks a lot better than the old one. And there's this really cool feature that when you download an app, you can actually see how much is downloaded. Now as you can see, I just started downloading Real Racing 3. When I do head back to my home screen, you can see I've got like a radar icon that makes it look really cool. You can see that as it advances further to the right, more of the application has downloaded. Now I do not have any apps to update at the time of making this video on my iPod, but if I did, you now have the ability to play apps while they're updating. This is going to be a really handy feature if the developer of the app does issue a large update. And if you do head back to your home screen, you will see some minor changes there as well. For example, folders are now just a little more transparent than they were in Beta 1 and 2. You can see that you can pretty much clearly see the bubble behind that folder without even having it open. And if you do go to the Spotlight search page, you now get a very small new animation. You can see that the search iPod text does move to the left now versus just staying in the middle. Now once again, that is a very small change, but it adds some character to the whole iOS experience. As you may know, in iOS 7, Apple did add a combined unibar to the Safari app. Now if you aren't sure what a unibar is, it's a combination of the search field and the address field into one. So when you click on the new unibar, you can see that the keyboard is different from the iOS 6 version. First of all, there is no .com button, which I can't really figure out why they got rid of that and I'm definitely going to miss that a lot. Now I'm not saying that they won't bring this back in later beta versions, I'm sure they're just testing it out to see what people think. New in the settings app is a redesigned brightness and wallpaper section, so if you click on that you can see that it looks a lot more iOS 7 like versus just how it looked in iOS 6. In iOS 7 beta 1 and 2, when you did boot up your iDevice, you would get a spinning logo like after you would respring. Now in beta 3, you just see the Apple logo again. In the mail app, Apple added a search bar so now when you swipe down in your inbox, you will see a search box. They did also add some new animations throughout the app. And when you're in the calendar app and you're under the monthly view section, you will see dots for events that you had that day. And the last of the features to be discovered so far is a new color of the font in the messages app. I would like to give a big thanks to iDownloadBlog for compiling a list of all the new things that they've found in iOS 7 Beta 3. If you have enjoyed this video, I would appreciate it if you did hit that like button. And if you do have any questions, please leave them in the comments section and I will try to answer them the best I can. And if you are interested in knowing when new iOS 7 betas are released, make sure you do hit that subscribe button because I will make sure to keep you guys informed. Thanks guys and I'll see you in my next video.